Hello everyone. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video about the 3D printer lately, so I figured um, I'd show you guys sort of the whole process from designing your 3D image to actually printing it out. Um, so it all starts in SketchUp or another kind of software called CAD software. Um, this is a design um, I've sort of adapted from someone else's for some classes. Um, as you can see, there's like holes for the screws, so I'd actually um, print this out and then put put in the screws later. Um, this is an um, an iPod dock or an iPhone dock, uh, which is actually what I'm going to be printing today. Um, this is like a little business card I made. Um, so it's got like a company logo on the front, and then if I can get it to flip around on the back, it has like some company name and email address, so you could give that to someone. Um, so that's pretty much how what SketchUp looks like. So now let's go over to um, the Bits from Byte software and see how that works. So this is what the um, bits from Byte software looks like and basically what we've done here is taken uh, the file that we were looking at in SketchUp for the iPod dock and imported it into this software that is going to actually generate the code that the machine needs to actually build the object. Um, so we have like sort of a nice preview here of what the dock is going to look like. Um, so let's go ahead and build it. As you can see we have like a lot of options here um, about sort of what like how how thin we want the layers to be. Um, we can we can control the density of the item. So I'm just gonna do like a 30% density, which is generally enough. Um, and we have a speed multiplier, which I'm not gonna use because that sort of degrades the quality when you up the speed. Um, and then I just click build. And I'll come back when it's finished. All right, so the software is finished generating the uh, the what what's called a G code file for the printer to read. Um, it will actually tell the printer um, how it needs to move the motors, etc. Um, and we can see we get some stats about the build. Um, so our object is 22.89 grams. Um, the material cost is. Um, 1.03 pounds, which is about a um, dollar sixty cents U.S., um, and the build time is about two hours and thirty-eight minutes. And we just double check our print here, um, make sure everything looks okay, and I think we're good to go. So I'll just pop this on a USB stick and uh, bring it over to the printer. Okay, so here's the actual 3D printer. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is just come in here and turn it on. Um, now I just want to add the USB stick. Select print. Um, and I see here my file, iPhone doc original. And I'll just go ahead and print that. Now what it's going to do is actually figure out where it is there and now it's just going to sit here and heat up for a minute so I'll come back when that's ready. Well, while this is heating up I think I can give you some idea of how this thing works. So, so basically we start with this spool of plastic. Um, it's red ABS plastic. It's the same kind of material that your car bumper is made out of or Legos are made out of. And so this gets fed up through here and then it goes down into this contraption here which is called an extruder um, and so th this motor here is going to push the plastic down into a heated nozzle which you can see down there um, see right there, sort of an ugly looking thing um, and so that the plastic is going to get pushed down in there it's going to heat up to about 250 degrees uh, Celsius and that's going to melt the plastic and it's actually going to print it out onto this clear plastic bed. Um, and that's basically 
all it is. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to our target temperature of 250 degrees Celsius here. Um, so it should start printing in a second. So what's actually going to happen is it's going to go ahead and extrude out um, a little bit of material just to make sure that um, it is extruding smoothly. That's called priming. Um, so now it is going to move over and lay down the first layer of material. Um, the first layer is generally kind of scary because if it doesn't go on right, um, the whole thing kind of falls apart. Um, so far, so good. So as you can see, this is kind of messed up here. Um, it's just sort of something that kind of happens sometimes. It's not, um, it's not really a perfect technology yet. Alright, so I'll just leave this sitting here for uh, two and a half hours and then I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so I came back in to check on the print. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys. So it, in the inside there it's printed like a honeycomb structure. Um, and so that's what we were specifying with like the, when we said 30% density, it's how, um, how dense that fill is um, for like inside the object. Alright, so it's two and a half hours later, and what we have here is a printed iPod dock. Um, you can see it just uses the those regular white cords that you probably have about five of, um, and you just thread it up through here, pops up there, and then if I wasn't filming this with my iPhone, I would show you how it fits. Um, but yeah, that works. Um, there's one defect, not really sure what happened there because I wasn't in the room while it was printing, but I think it might be software related. Anyways, that's how it works.